Norfolk Field. <clears throat> Today I'm doing a quick update on the results of a campaign game we've just got done playing. We got to turn six and it was determined we had to quit for the evening and then it was determined that three nationalists weren't going to be able to, to pull it off. Um, it's just, first of all, there was an infiltration behind enemy lines by the Republicans, which opened up the sudden death rule, which is... 10 points over four originally nationally controlled towns. So as you can see, the Republicans blasted through on a march movement and took quite a few towns. And they're still in supply, so they could theoretically drop the turn seven reinforcements, which is a pretty good stack. They could drop those behind enemy lines and pretty much make it impossible for the, the nationalists to retake those towns. The Nationalists did make some advances in the north, up in the Basque country, but we're not sure the value of that. I guess you protect some towns or take some points away. But overall, it's pretty easy for the north to bring in reinforcements and just hold out until these counters flip and become stronger units. Those are the kill piles. Uh, there's the Nationalist aircraft to date. In Catalonia, um, the other problem is that these units are the Nationalist units are going to disappear when they flip. So, that, you know, that's going to go away. That's going to go away. That's going to go away. You know, these just get stronger when they flip. A couple of them go away. I guess theoretically one could drop some reinforcements in there, but there's no taking Barcelona. The Nationalists did, the uh, Colonials did manage to take Valencia and Alicante, but again, they probably won't hold it if the Nationals, if the Republicans really want it back. The Republicans were able to um, pretty much hold their ground and take some towns down in Andalusia, and the Colonial units had to pull back to protect Cadiz because of the uh, infiltration of the Republicans behind enemy lines. Um, what else? So, and again, the blue markers here represent national controlled hexes and the green triangles represent Republican because we have to keep track of it for march movement and things like that on the rails. Um, what else? I think that pretty much sums up this game. We're still learning how to play a bit, but it looks like the Nationals probably won't push too much for Madrid. It's just too powerful, and with the two shift left, it's pretty unimaginable how they would ever take Madrid. They can take Alcazar in the first turn by coming down through here up with a march movement. Um, what else? Some customizations I'm working on will show maybe at the end of this or do a little tag on video to this, but uh, changing the events into actual cards so they're easy to handle and a little more graphic and then created this terrain chart which makes it easier to calculate battles. There's kind of the out of box one, it doesn't have any movement indicators on it and then just the map itself it's kind of nice to play on a on a large map all right if you have any questions let me know but we'll keep playing this and see uh see what we can come up with by the way the map is great i mean the mountains the rough just the details on the map are pretty fantastic it's, it's really well done all right thanks for watching take care Thank you.